Hello everyone, as some of you may know, yes I am in my Google Images, um, it's going to be about ten, in like ten hours, which is 8.48 Right now it's 7.42, but it's almost going to be 10 hours. The dog passed away. It's been 8 hours and 54 minutes. It's almost going to be 9 hours, and this video will drag on past 9 hours. <clears throat> and I have been crying almost all day. I mean, she passed away peacefully at home, in that bed in this photo. This was not before she died, this was like, what, a few days before she died? Or even a few weeks? I mean, knowingly it was a few weeks because stuff has changed for where that white bit is, which is actually the fireplace, just above her head. And yeah, she has had quite a wild life, and depressing, happy life, and just a mixture of it all, and she still fighted for it. I'll go from the beginning, from what I know of, and stuff which I'm allowed to say on here, just to give you guys a sort of knowing what's happened in her life so let's begin from just before my stepdad got her we're going back to like around 2010 and she was found skin and bone basically walking in the street somewhere around the country and she'd been abandoned either robbed with by someone and yeah she had puppies which she did have they only knew that she had puppies by her releasing milk from you know and those puppies were robbed from her and she was left on the streets alone because they took her and the puppies and you know she was just left to wander and she managed to pull through she was found she was put in a rescue home well, a rescue place for other dogs and cats and they noticed that she was a sweetheart and they used her to calm down puppies, kittens and other dogs that were scared because she was so nice she was like the friendliest dog you had ever known she even, but like when she could hear which was like one to two years ago I used to be able to play kitten sounds and she'd go nuts she'd be like where are they so with my cat and my cat is starting to notice that she ain't coming back um yeah daisy this dog has had a wild life she got adopted by my stepdad like 2011 I think he told me then it went on to 2017 and she met me no way it weren't 2017 it was 2016 I mean sorry um 2016 when I was eight years old I was just about to turn nine she met me. I remember the night I met her. 
I'll explain to you. My siblings, my two younger siblings, heard a dog downstairs, and I didn't think nothing of it. And so they went downstairs, and they met Daisy just before me. And my mum was like, you can go downstairs and meet the dog. And I was like, what? So I went down in front of my mum. Wait, no, I went down just behind her. And she let me open the door. And Daisy instantly jumped at me. Not in an aggressive way, but a friendly way, like a puppy would jump at someone. Wagging her tail, excited. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. It scared me at first, but then I kind of cooled down to it, you know. And ever since, she had treated me the best. She is a really good dog. And over the years, the bonds get stronger and stronger and stronger. I do love her a lot, and I, and I would forever. I don't want to replace her as in, like, get another dog in the future. I'm not really thinking of another dog. She's different. I've never met a dog like her. She had never hurt me. She had never growled at me. There was one time when she bit me, but it weren't aggressive. She was trying to play with me. Because I was holding the ball and she went for the ball at the same time and accidentally got my finger. That happens, it's an accident. It didn't bleed. She licked me, she was like, I'm sorry. And that was like in 2020, 2021. She was active. And she was still running around until September, just after I got the rats. And she started going downhill. Her legs start playing up properly by mid-November. But it weren't like... She'd still sort of stand on it, but not fully. And by December, she started forming a lump. And her leg was getting thicker. And now it's the 8th of December. She's gone. It's a tough decision. And any other families that are going through this, I know it's tough. <clears throat> there is even other things, like, there is good times I've had with her that you guys don't even know about. Like, very funny. One time, I was just sat there or laying down. And she'd just come up to me and just really lick me a lot. And I would be like, stop it, stop it, stop it. And she would just continue because she was like, I love you. And my mum taught her to say, I love you. She taught her to dance. By tapping her two front feet on the floor. And yeah, she was just such a sweetheart. She loved meeting people. And... The reason why my stepdad paid out for her to be put down in her bed is because it was around the same price as you would go to the vets. It's better if you do it at home because it makes the animal more comfortable. They'd probably allow the needle to go in and you'd be able to give them food, which they wouldn't normally have, to comfort them. And yeah. <clears throat> the last thing Daisy ate was a slice of cheese. She loved it. And that's when they seduced her to uh, something to make her feel sleepy. And then they gave her... Well, then after she was very sleepy, they euthanized her. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to explain even more because it does get really upsetting after that. She was a really good dog as well. I'm going to constantly say that. I mean, would you... Do you guys ever have a dog that would never hurt you? And would always cuddle up to you? Never bite you. 
and I mean that's it she just never hurt us she'd been a good dog most dogs do have their downsides as in there is one thing that they don't particularly like Daisy was fine with anything we ha- I have nephews and nieces <clears throat> and they would pull on her whack her with toys yeah they were around a year old just under a year as well and yeah we were we would stop her well stop that stop them from hitting her like that but she was fine with it she was just there like Okay. And she never showed any aggression. She'd just lick them. The only time she'd growl is if something got a bit too much for her. Which was like... I've I've only known her to growl what five times throughout the seven, eight-ish years I've known her. Which is not a lot. And yeah, she would just always be the happy daisy. If any of you viewers would have met her, you would have loved her. She's not in pain anymore. She was in pain over the past few days, like three days. Like full on in pain. And that's when she started getting up less and stuff. But I'd bring the food to her, let her eat it, because she couldn't walk. And she didn't even go to the toilet. Yesterday and today. Saying our final goodbyes as well. This is more like a memorial video. It's not as bright with the flowers and stuff. This is just letting you guys know that she ain't going to be around anymore. She ain't going to be any, in any of the videos unless I try and get videos off my siblings that they've recorded as well. Because I've got majority of my videos uploaded of her. And yeah. My siblings do have videos where, they're, where she's being really funny in there. And I'm going to make a playlist with those videos uploaded. And put her on there. With all the videos that she's been in. And then you'd be able to watch them. Maybe even from my older channel. From when I was younger. But don't find me weird in those videos. I was like. It was literally only. Um, a year after me meeting her. So yes I was like 9 or 10. And the videos are a bit weird. And I labelled them a bit weird. But. Yeah. She's gone now. But her heart ain't. I know she loves us. I know she loves everyone. And if any of you are going through this, I know your pain. I'm just going to pause the video just to show you guys something else. So then you can get a more rough idea. And then you'll be able to see something at the end. Now this photo was taken when I was watching TV. I actually went out of the room and Daisy was laying in her bed. Right there. 
That's where she passed away in, by the way, that bed. Same bed in the other picture. And, yeah, she was laying in that bed. I went out. And I was out for probably a minute. Came back in uh, this room to continue watching TV, but Daisy was sat where I was sitting in the photo. So I picked her up. She was quite light. Because you know she was going downhill. But she went skinny then. I have got another image where I'll show you where it was taking the same sort of time this was taken. And yeah, this is Daisy and I had her laying on me. She was happy to be cuddled up. She weren't in pain then. But this is like two weeks before the pain started. This is what Daisy looks like in November. As you can see, her legs are starting to stick out. And that's due to old age. Yeah. I did take a screenshot from my tablet as well. Because I sent it on Instagram. But yeah, that's her laying there. She was alright, and you could tell which leg's the one that was in pain. Because it's that, it's this one right here. This one right here. And yeah. She was alright at that sort of time. We didn't know how quick it was going to go, and we were struggling with money. We literally had to scrape everything for her to be put down and cremated and her box of uh, her ash will be coming back next week now as I was saying is that the pic you saw was her like mid last month this was her the night before she passed you can see that she is in pain this is where she was mainly harmed. Like, you know, that, there was a lump on that side. As you can see, this leg is significant, significantly thicker than that one. And over here at that top right, where this is, is where her food and water was. Because we would keep it there and we would have to put it on her beds. So she can lay and eat and lay and drink because she couldn't get up properly at that time she tried and you know she was slipping and yeah she struggled this was Daisy around the year I met her in another house and as you can see, she's muscly in this uh, picture. She's just laying there because she's relaxed. But she's quite muscly, as you can see. Her front legs are really thick. Her back legs are... And you can see up here, um, her muscles. This was years ago. This was back in 2017. Now, this image was Daisy in 2019. Or 2018. It's from a screenshot from one of my YouTube videos. And as you can see, she's still quite healthy there. And her ears are upright, showing that she's happy. She was running around still. And she was such a loving dog. This video was made for Daisy. For you guys to remember her. And as you can see. She was either born between 2007 or 2008. Because we don't know. We rescued her. But all, all we know. Is that she was the best dog. The beautiful one. The one that will. Be forever remembered. When she. Passed. And yes. She did grow her rings at 10.48am this morning. 
I hope you guys remember this video and I might not do videos for some time I might do depends I hope you guys do take care and see you soon